Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a glass sphere in Photoshop. So I'm going to create a new document by pressing Ctrl and N. The width is going to be a thousand pixels. The height is going to be a thousand pixels. The resolution is going to be 150 pixels per inch and the color mode is going to be RGB. Now by pressing Ctrl and 0, I'm going to make the document fit the workspace. Then I'm going to go into the gradient tool and with the foreground color set as black and the background color set as white, I'm going to click and drag and create a gradient on the background layer. Next I'm going to go into view and make sure rulers and snap are checked. Then from the top of the workspace, I'm going to click and drag a guideline to the center of the image and also from the left of the workspace I'm going to click and drag a guideline so that both the guidelines meet in the center of the image. Now I'm going to create another layer by pressing Ctrl Shift and N and I'm going to name this layer as Spear Background. Then I'm going to take the elliptical marquee tool from the tools bar and from the center of the image, I'm going to hold down on Shift and Alt and click and drag to make a perfect circular selection on this layer. Then by pressing Shift and F5, I'm going to bring up the fill dialog box and fill this selection with black color. Then I'm going to deselect the selection by pressing Ctrl D and hide the guidelines by pressing Ctrl H. I'm going to double click on the spare background layer to bring up the layer style. I'm going to choose color overlay. I'm going to choose a light shade of blue for now and click on OK. Next I'm going to choose inner glow. For the color I'm going to choose a darker shade of blue than before. The blend mode is going to be normal. The source is going to be from edge and the size is going to be something around 150 pixels and then click on OK. Then I'm going to create another layer by pressing Ctrl Shift and N and I'm going to name this layer as Glass Surface. Then by pressing Shift and F5 I'm going to bring up the fills layer dialog box and fill this layer with black. I'm going to go into filters, render and lens layer. I'm going to choose the lens type as 50 to 300 mm zoom. The brightness is going to be 100%. Then I'm going to go into filters, distort and polar coordinates. I'm going to choose polar to rectangular and then click on OK. Next I'm going to go into Edit, Transform and Flip Vertical. Again I'm going to go into Filters, Distort, Polar Coordinates and this time I'm going to choose Rectangular to Polar and click on OK. I'm going to hold down on Ctrl and click on the icon of the spear background layer to make a selection of it. And then I'm going to click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of this selection. I'm going to delink the layer mask from the layer and then choose the layer. Next I'm going to use the transform tool by pressing Ctrl and T and resize this layer so that it matches the size of the layer beneath it. Next I'm going to turn, change the blend mode to luminosity. So we have our glass sphere. Now if you want to lighten the glass sphere, you can do so by adding a level adjustment layer, but make sure create Clipping mask is selected. 
and then take the right slider and slide it a bit towards the left so as to lighten your spear next select all these layers and group them into a group by pressing ctrl and g i'm going to name this group as spear next i'm going to add a reflection to this spear so for that i'm going to duplicate this group and name it as spear reflection I'm going to turn down the opacity to around 30% and then go into edit transform and flip vertical then by using the move tool and holding down on shift I'm going to click and drag this group to the bottom of the image and then by using the direction keys I'm going to make precise movements so that the reflection touches the bottom part of the sphere I'm going to create another layer mask for this group and then using the gradient tool I'm going to make a gradient on the layer mask so that it gives the effect of fading away Next I'm going to delink the layer mask from the group and select both these groups and then by using the move tool I'm going to click and drag and reposition both the sphere and the reflection in this image. So there you have it a glass sphere and its reflection in Photoshop. Next I'm going to show you how to change the color of this sphere. So for that just go down to the adjustment layers palette and choose the hue saturation and then just play around with the hue slider and so that you get a color which you desire. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day everyone.